Morning, my name is Emma, this is Emma Rosen Books, and in today's video I wanted to talk about some of the positives that have come out of lockdown. Um, in the UK, the lockdown measures are starting to ease up, and so it's made me start to reflect on how the last three months have been. Is it three months? Four months? Four months. Since March, it's now July. Three and a half months. I don't know. <laughs> That's terrible, isn't it? Yeah, three and a half months. Um, and so... I want to focus on the positives. It's very much been a roller coaster here, I think, as for everybody. Um, but it's just nice to kind of think of the good stuff that's come out of it to then move forward being positive. That's the way I'm thinking about it anyway. Um, for us in this house, the current measures haven't made all that much of a difference. We're neither of us key workers, so our children are still at home, so I'm still homeschooling them, which means that I'm balancing that with the small amount of work that I can do on my writing business. Um, it's, yeah, it doesn't, because that's the main thing that impacts our life is the children being here. <laughs> and um, because the current regulations mean that people who aren't it's very difficult for people to look after the children they'd have to be in our social bubble and so even once they're not at home school anymore uh, you know it's not as if what I can arrange a couple of days of childcare or play dates or you know it's 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 very difficult so um in that respect things kind of carry on as normal for us in that I'm predominantly looking after the kids and my husband is predominantly working and then we're just trying to give each other a little bit of breathing space within those spheres because it is my husband's work that pays the bills so his work is taking priority um so yeah so anyway so as I say the cha current changes haven't made that much of a difference for us and won't do until the kids go back to school um, so anyway, the positive things that have come out of lockdown for me and for us <coughs> as a family in no particular order. So first of all, um, we have really learned that we don't need to do as much. We are that family that's like swimming and ballet and football and scouts and you know, all the things. We knew it was a lot and it's very hard to take stock of it and say, okay, which of these things is actually important um which of these things do we want to keep going what impacts on our life obviously because all of that has stopped all of the extracurricular bits for the kids and like the after school clubs and play dates and parties and everything has all stopped it made us realize just how much all of that rushing around was impacting our family life in terms of spending time together everybody being tired particularly the kids being tired and then you know, that being difficult because of, you know, tempers and just everything. Um, and the slowing down and realising that we don't have to do any of those things if we don't want to, and the kind of life that comes out of that if we don't do as much, has really helped. And it will be very interesting which bits we choose to rebuild. And we're very much looking at doing things that, where we can do a lot of things in one go for instance so we're not like every day something um or where we could maybe do like intensive courses and things or you, you know what i mean that kind of things but assessing what's really important what do what are we passionate about and you know what are my children passionate about and they want to do desperately and then what things are we just doing because we're doing them so that and like i said day trips and all of that another example is in the school holidays we tend to go out an awful lot we tend to so I and I think this comes from when I have really small children I'm almost afraid of having the kids at home for a day because when they were really small you just go out of your mind being at home because um kids <laughs> just being, being here and getting some space going out somewhere breaking the day up really made a difference so I've got into that habit that in the school holidays I'd be like right what are we doing this day that day and every single day we'll be going somewhere or doing something and yeah, I've learned, like, we don't need to, we're absolutely fine being at home. Um, and it would make me anxious of like, well, if we're staying at home, what are we doing? Well, it's fine. We've got these rhythms of the day. We've got things that we enjoy doing. And realising that, I mean, that's going to be such a positive going forward that when we look at school holidays, we're not going to be scheduling stuff in for every day and panicking of like, oh, where can we take them on this day? We're definitely going to have some home days and give them lots more time for us all to just decompress 
and be together. So I really think that's a huge benefit for us as a family to really get a bit of perspective on all of that. It was something we knew, but removing yourself from it makes it easier to actually be a little bit more objective about it. The next thing is we are definitely communicating better, so much better. All being forced to be here together has obviously meant that we've had to, but I think that we have all learned how to kind of smoothly communicate with each other and how to explain things and not wind each other up. Me and my husband in particular are communicating better than I think we ever have been. Um, and just being kinder to each other because we've got a little bit more empathy and understanding and rather than when you're again it comes down to the busyness thing and you're just like right we need to do this we need to do that and you know it's just we're actually having the time and the headspace to be able to properly communicate about things and discuss what needs doing or how we feel about something or looking at how our life is structured or whatever it may be so definitely each and every one of us is communicating better the next thing to come out of this is that we've been spending so much more time outside. We are quite an outdoorsy family. I mean, we walk the dog every day. We love being outside. We love camping. We just never have the time. So again, um, you know, just chucking the kids out in the garden and going for walks, going for bike rides, going camping, doing all of this stuff and realising that that for us is a real... Um, happy place, something we all love doing and... Um, yeah, it definitely, we've been spending more time outside and we are really keen that that carries on. The next thing that's been a positive is catching up on all the things to do. <laughs> In January, I wrote this huge A4 sheet of all the things because I get like a messy head and I need to put it on paper so then I don't have to kind of store it all in my brain. All these things that needed seeing to, and then stupid things like clothes that needed buttons sewn on or craft projects that were sat not being done or the Wendy house needed fixing or the fence needed fixing you know all these things that were just had been like oh well we haven't got time we'll do that you know um meant that we got caught up with all of that and we just don't have all of that stuff over our head and all the stuff that's like oh yeah I'll do that when I get around to it well we've been able to get around to it um, and so that has been great to kind of get on top of things and you know I'd really quite like maybe every year to just take a week where we're just at home in the, in the summer holidays or whatever whether my husband's working or not but just for us predominantly to be at home so that we can just work through everything and not have everything like run away from you and sometimes they are just silly things like I said like I had this gift that a friend had bought me that was a little pincushion um, cactus and it just been sat there for a couple of years and I wanted to do it, I wanted to learn to crochet, I wanted to get around to it and I just didn't. And then doing that meant I now know how to crochet, I made the thing so the kit isn't there anymore, we've got the pincushion, my son has nicked it. <laughs> so yeah, just all of these, these things that needed doing. Um, so in general, from all of that, like our household is just, it feels a lot more calm. We know what's good for us. Like we've had a chance to assess how we function as a family and how we want to go forward from here. That has been so good. Personally, um, oh, there's been a few things. Uh, so running is one that I talked about on this channel. I got into running again, and I think probably in a bigger way than I have done before. Um, I'm now regularly running two or three miles. So I've probably every other day, go for a run. That also has helped my creative headspace because although I listen to podcasts, there's something about the exercise, the outside, the time alone, the headspace that has meant that I'm able to think and reflect. And actually the kind of podcasts I listen to a lot of the time are things that kind of inspire me creatively. So I feel like all of that feeds into that as well. But yeah, being able to run and that it's not like, oh, I run a couple of 5Ks in a year and it's a really big deal. I'm now running 5Ks a couple of times a week and thinking about aiming up towards 10K. So definitely doing so much better and enjoying it in a way I never have before. And I never want to stop now, which previously it'd be like, oh, now I'm like, I know I need to go for a run. So yeah, getting into running in a really big way, that's been really, really good. The next thing is the... Um, communicating with people that I don't see as much. So the people I see all the time, obviously I've seen less because we are the kind of people that would meet in person. 
But the people that I don't see all that much, we've been able to talk via Zoom or, and we've made that space and we've discovered, you know, video chat. I mean, as if it hadn't been around for ages. The only person I ever really video chatted to prior to this was my dad because he lives in a different country. But now it's a thing that it has meant that I can keep up with people that I just don't see. And we've all said moving forward that we want to stay in touch like that and we want to make that effort and that this is a good way for us to do that. And actually Zoom has been, it's such an eye opener that that's a way of doing things that could be really exciting going forward. The whole technological side I'm really interested in from, from as lockdown eases of is this going to mean that we can open up things that you're meant to be at physically to a digital audience as well? And I think it's really exciting. But yeah, so I've been able to actually stay in touch with some people more than usual. I'm really sad to miss the people I see all the time, but, it's, you know, <laughs> we're looking on the right side here. So <laughs> another example of that is that on my youngest's birthday, we... Um, did, got video chat, we did a Zoom chat with a few members of our family that couldn't be there, including people who live further away who normally can't be a part of a celebration like that. And we were just like, why, don't, why haven't we always done this? The family who would love to be involved actually can be because of technology, so that's really exciting. The next thing that has been a benefit for me has been um, reflecting on reading and reading more. I thought I would read less because of having the kids around, but actually I've read a bit more. Um, I guess because of the slowing down of the pace of life. Um, but what I've realised is that I tend to be the person who reads like what I've got around. I've been trying to read everything on the bookcase that I haven't read. I tend to pick up books in charity shops. I don't tend to spend an awful lot of money on books. But actually what I want to do is read the things I want to read and not waste time reading things that I'm just reading like because they're there. Um, although, I mean, most of what I read I do enjoy. But um, So, although I am absolutely still going to buy secondhand books, um, you know, at charity shops and use the library, I love using the library. All those books that I've had on my list of I really want to read these, and then never actually spending the money on. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna read books that I feel excited and passionate about. And then hopefully that will make this channel a bit more, in terms of the books that I read, that I'm actually reading things within like my, my um, main sphere of interest, if you know what I mean. So then when I'm doing reading wrap ups, they have more of a um, genre around them than they do at the moment. I, I mean, I read widely anyway, and I'm not gonna not read widely, but just, yeah, spend time reading things that I've wanted to read for ages rather than, oh, well, his book, I'll read it. Um, but yeah, so um, I maybe that's because I have read a lot of the books that I've got around the place. So maybe that's why I'm like, right now I need to actually start, you know, buying some books that I want to buy. Um, so that's something I'm definitely going to do moving forward is books. The thing for me is I will only buy a new book if it's something that I intend to keep. Um, other books I'll tend to buy secondhand and then pass them on again um, for environmental reasons and monetary reasons and so yeah I hope that that's going to be an interesting thing. I think also now that we're towards the end of this period I've taken the pressure off myself a little bit. <laughs> it's this whole thing of like I've got deadlines or well, who gave you those deadlines? Well I gave them myself because I'm self-employed. You know <laughs> that I can just I can only do what I can do and you know, I can move forward with all these creative ideas that I have, but I can only do so much. I know what I'm capable of. I know what makes me happy and then also what gets me stressed. And I think I'm going to be a lot better at saying, these are the things that excite me. These are the things I want to work on. But if I can't work on them quickly, that's OK. It's just life is what it is. Um, I set my own deadlines, so that's fine. And then I can stop doing the things that don't make me happy. And I just feel a bit like coming out of lockdown, I have more sense of what I actually want to do, the things that I've wanted to do, the things that I've tried to maintain and the things that I'm not that bothered by and I can let go of, whether in my um, professional world or in my personal stuff, just, you know, I feel a lot more kind of centred of this is what I want and this is what I'm happy with and this is how I want to move, move forward. So I think in that kind of self-assured way, that's also been a benefit. Something that I've really focused on in terms of general benefits to everybody is the environmental stuff to come out of coronavirus. I think that that's really interesting. I hope that the the good parts of that will continue and that people will in general be a bit more conscious of 
you know, how much they drive when they don't need to and how much, you know, maybe people will be working from home, maybe there'll be more intelligent use of, um, of technology, maybe there'll be more, you know, business places will do things that or all of that stuff will hopefully make, have environmental benefits and also people, people spending more time outside you know working on their gardens and planting stuff and I just hope moving forward all of that good stuff continues and then develops I know that it will take a step back as people are traveling more and have less time but I, I just I think that what we've seen in terms of like the the air quality is improving and the I mean I have definitely seen so much more wildlife this year than I I've ever seen before and so I, I hope that all of that does carry on and that that consciousness you know people don't just rush back into their old lives that everybody is a little bit reflective and that the environment plays a part in that but even if it doesn't I think even if you're just doing things for your own personal reasons but you are doing less and you are just grounding yourself a little bit more I, I think that's still going to have that knock-on effect so I uh, for me I'm just really interested and in anything I've read about the environment I know that there's also been the perspective that big people are not um maybe as as aware of some of like the big policy stuff and that that and, and some of that stuff hasn't been able to go ahead and like important environmental meetings and, and that kind of thing that it's you know it's obviously not all uh clear sailing however yeah I really hope that that moving forward just yeah just everybody kind of slows down and that yeah I just think that will be good I don't know <laughs> I hope so um let me see anything else um I don't think so I just think in general I've taken the pressure off myself and I hope that that uh, and I, that's not been the case all the way through I've really felt the pressure and I've really really felt like overwhelmed and but maybe it's that kind of roller coaster thing and now I'm kind of coming out of it and also because we can see that we're hopefully almost through all this it's like okay now I feel like I've I've been through a thing and I've assessed how I feel about it I don't know anyway I'd be really interested in how in the things that you feel have been benefits or positives come out of lockdown whether it's for you personally or actually whether it's for the whole country or world or you know, in your professional life, or your personal life, what benefits, what good stuff? Because I, I think we need to focus on the good. It's been hard. Um, so if we focus on the positives and move forward with those, I think that that could be really exciting and interesting. And I would love to know um, in the comments how, how you feel about all of this stuff. So, <laughs> yeah. Thank you for watching this video. Please press like if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I hope you're all well, I hope you're all, you know, enjoying things, picking up a bit more, and I will see you all soon for another video. Take care.